trees? Have you ever wandered a world without trees? And today, I am going to talk about something small but has a huge impact that you know, I know and everybody knows it. And I am going to talk about a thing that happened 2 to 3 years ago. My mom asked me if I could accompany her in a plantation drive. So, I was thinking that's a cool thing to do. So, without any second thoughts, I told okay. While we were traveling, I was so curious and excited that I had a doubt. That was, why should we do plantation drive? My mom told that so many trees are cut down every year. So, it's good to do plantation drive. So, I had another doubt. That was, how many trees were cut down every year? My mom told, imagine 27 football grounds placed side by side, filled with trees. Those many trees are cut down every minute. I was like, what? Every minute? So, slowly I thought that we should plant so many trees as we can. I didn't realize, but I had planted 365 plants in a single day. And while we were returning home, I had another doubt. That was, where do these saplings come from? My father told that these saplings come from seeds. I remember that I used to eat lot, lot of fruits. One of my favorite fruit is orange. I used to bite something hard that was bitter. So, I asked my father, what is this little fruit doing inside this fruit? My father laughed and said that this is not a fruit, this is a seed. This grows into a plant. I went out and I saw that there are so many different types of plants. And I again asked my father, why are there so many different types of plants? My father told that these all are a variety of plants. Mango seed grows into a mango plant and orange seed grows into orange plant. I understood that seeds are very important. But I had observed one thing that people, people are throwing seeds in the dustbin with the fruit scraps. Wait a minute, isn't the dustbin meant for waste? If the seeds are very important, then why are people trying in the dustbin? For doing a research, I went door to door in apartments and I asked them, after you eat a fruit, do you throw the seeds or keep the seeds? Believe me, 95% of people told, no, we throw the seeds. And I was playing in the backyard of my grandmother's house when I saw two buckets full of seeds in my neighbor's house. I was staring at the seeds when a neighbor walked out and said, what, what do you want? Do you want these seeds? I was still staring at the seeds and I, for a second I thought that somebody was saving the seed. But he told we had Anyways, going to throw the seeds in the dustbin. If you want, you can take. So I replied that I'll be taking some of the seeds. I went and I took a small bag. I rushed there and I filled the seeds in the bag. I went and I started counting one by one. This much bag had more than 5,000 seeds. The the numbers were shocking. So I wanted to do I wanted to continue the seed collection. So when I went home to my house, I did seed collection campaign in offices, colleges, schools, and even apartments. In, of, in schools and colleges. I give speeches and tell that seeds are not a waste. You should save the seeds. And 
If you don't want the seeds, I tell them that you can give the seeds to me. And I tell the importance of seeds. And in the apartments, I go door to door and I ask them. And I tell them that seed is not a waste. And I tell them the importance of seed. And I tell them to wash the seed, dry the seed and give the seed to me. I have collected more than 25,000 seeds and planted more than 1,000 plants. And if you're wondering what I do with all these seeds, I donate them to nurseries, farmers and seed banks. In nurseries, we do seed packeting activities and those eventually grow into saplings and we use those saplings in plantation drives. And, uh, and I also give and I also give workshops in offices like seed ball making workshop. I tell them how to prevent the seed from getting fungus. And I tell them that this method conserves the seeds and protect the seeds from fungus. And I teach them how to make the seed ball. And I tell them carry the seed ball when you seed balls when you're going out. And if you see an empty land, I tell them to throw the seeds. And when they when the seed balls come in contact of water, they'll grow into a new plant. And eventually they grow into trees. Trees give us oxygen, reduces pollution, give us fruits give animals and birds shelter and etc. Always remember friends, a seed is not a waste. A seed is a great treasure. A seed today is a tree tomorrow. A handful of seeds is a land full of trees. And the seed conservation and the seed collection should go on through generations and generations and be told to younger ones. And Mother Nature has done so much for us. Now it's our time to protect the Mother Nature. And if you're wondering who this little boy is, I'm Narayan Willuri. I'm 10 years old. And I'm a seed collector and a seed sustainability expert. Thank you.